Next, we have the chocolate smelting room, where thousands of miles of copper pipe twist through the earth, perfectly cooling chocolate to the precise temperature for strawberry dipping. Erwanke, I want to taste the chocolate. <laughs> no matter how tempting, and isn't it deliciously tempting, do not touch the chocolate. It will instantly harden like cement. Look, over there, it's some sort of creature. Put him up! No need to be alarmed, my friends. That there is an Oompa Loompa. Zombie worker! Not a zombie worker, a refugee. From where, Wonka? Why, all of my workers are Oompa Loompas from Loompa Land. Now, see here, Wonka, I teach geography. Then you and know all about Loompa Land, with its thick jungles infested with horn swagglers and snazzy wanglers and those terrible wicked wangdoodles. Wangdoodles? There's no such thing. Yes, there is, my dear. And a wangdoo would love to sink its sharp, vicious fangs into you. Augustus, my chocolate must never be touched by human hands. Too late! Oh, great! He's gonna give his call to millions of people. It's so good. I think I've had too much chocolate. Uh, 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 Augustus! 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 It's his own fault. Shouldn't we try to help him? Ah, uh, no. The chocolate's frozen like magic shell. He looks like an Easter bunny. We've had an early revelation and lost a child in the chocolate smelting room. It's a shame, really. The boys seem to know about chocolate. At last, take Mrs. Gloop's poop to the strawberry dipping room and heat them to precisely 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Or is that Celsius? No, Fahrenheit. But no higher, or he may spontaneously boil, and that would be a shame. Because Augustus would be damaged? My dear, Augustus was damaged long ago. <laughs> the problem would be all of the wasted chocolate. Goodbye, Mrs. Gloop, and good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, let us continue our tour. <laughs>